because I was at 24 volts. That got me up to 28. May have flooded it too. Um, I only need like a three second. I think I did way too long on that first one. Um, warming up the aircraft right now. Just It's also a little on the cold side, so we're just kind of giving it some, some space. I'm going to let it pull forward and get out of this guy's hair with his loudness and wind. Uh, yeah, gentlemen were awesome. It's a very antique electric one. I have to go all the way over to this hangar. They got to pull me over, get it over there and everything. But um, got it. So that feels good. Humidity 2-4. Okay, that was dad calling because I texted him saying I was having issues. Um, I'll let him know in the air what, what the deal was. So we're going to back this up. We're now warm enough, I believe. Alvo things on, cabin power, 12 hey, volt. That was up, so that might have been a potential issue. And trade winds traffic, this is station air 13709 are going to be taxiing and departing runway 35, trade winds for eastbound departure. Sorry, westbound departure, trade winds. Okay. Trade winds traffic, helicopter 9 Fox Fox, I am spinning on the ramp. I'm also going to be departing, uh, I'll be going direct off the ramp, but westbound as well. I'll be below 500 HGL. Roger, yeah, and I'll climb up as fast as I can below the class, Charlie, and we'll just keep an eye out for you. Cheers, Trey Wins. We'll do the same. Have a good flight. Hey, you too. The wind's coming down, so we're going to do our little run up into the wind. The engine nice and loved. Okay. Great. So it's Juliet Tango. Go, Charlie. And runway, uh, more. and then our runways, I'm going to be doing 2-9 or 2-1, we'll just say 2-1. for. Great. So we got that, and then ignore, we're going to actually send our map to the panel, and then I'll res reset it, because I want that waypoint around some restricted area. Add to the panel. Panel's going to ask me to preview. We're going to activate it, reactivated it, and then our destination runway is going to be 2-1. All right, excellent. So we will got to put our altitude back in there now that we've started and stopped again. We're going to be heading out to the east and do 3-5 as our um, heading off just so we know how, where we need to turn around if we have issues, how to come back. We're in congested area. It might be hard to see things. And I'm going to turn off the Bluetooth and try to keep connecting. Great. Run up. We already did our flight controls. Fuel quantities check. Engine. System. Um, gallons remaining. 87. Again, I said I was going to reduce that by about, we'll say, 84 right now. Got that. Fuel pump is off. Affirmative. Everything else is off. Mixture is going to be rich. We're going to do 1,800 RPM. Our mag check, 150. 50 drop, max diff. We're going to get it at that 1,800. It checks out. Cycle. Wait for that first drop in. Great. And then uh, batteries are charging. I'm gonna pull those back. We're gonna lean that up. We got our 10 degrees of flaps. Trim is set for takeoff. Confirmed. Rudder trim, fuels on both tanks, ammeter was charging, friction lock, electric trim test, works, autopilot, heading, should start turning, great, that disconnects it, take off briefing, we are taking off at 3-5 at trade winds and we're going to be heading east, below the class trolley and then we're going to contact our um, one niner point five woman find our actual where we are. Niner point five, yep. For Amarillo, got that in the backup. 
it's all set, and then we're going to be heading out to the west looking out for this helicopter traffic. If we have any issues, stop, 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 brake, 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 on the ground, make sure, get off the runway if I can. Uh, if we get up in the air, we're going to put it back down gently, stop, stop, stop. If we are off the departure end, we're going to look straight ahead and around and aim for a landing there. If we're up in the air and we have some speed, we're going to come back around and try to land on um, the diagonal or come all the way around and, and land 3-5. We got a tailwind, we could probably do it. Um, it's a little sketchy and we have a long distance, so it's an emergency though, but do whatever is essential to make sure of a safe flight. So we're gonna do our landing lights on, got all that, don't need a taxi light on. It's bright, it's morning. And we got our flaps. We're gonna do our mixture, I feel good for that. Parking brake, never set my parking brake, not too often. That's had read too many stories to me, told too many stories about people having bad stuff. So we're, we're squawking VFR, got a mixture rich, propeller high RPM. Yeah, we're gonna rotate and do that at about, we're gonna rotate at, we're gonna rotate at, let's see if we can rotate at 65. See what 65 does. Uh, I'll put it back into ground effect if I have that issue that I've had before, where things get a little wonka doodle. Yes, that is an accurate term. Doodle. We are good. I'm good. Feel I am safe. Talk to the team. Trade winds traffic station here 13709 er is holding short of 35 for a westbound departure. Trade winds. Alright, so let's get that going. Let's check our oncoming traffic. Just make sure someone's not being a oh boy. This is Tejas after all. Hey, Tay Halls. If you don't have your head on a swivel, you're not really being a good pilot. <laughs> All right. Trade winds traffic, station air 13709 is departing runway 35, trade winds. All right, make sure there we're backing up our prop so I have that fingertip. And we're good. Get better lined up. It's a skinny runway, not tons of room for air. Wind's off just a tiny bit to our right, so we'll just turn a little bit of air around to the right. And we're rolling. Heels on floor. Touching the green. Turn green. That airspeed is alive. 66. It's still like 68, 70. Mario approach station area 13709. We're just departed in trade winds, climbing 4,000, and we're going to be heading out to the west, request flight following. I believe it was station area 13709, calling Air Merlot approach off the trade wind, correct? Affirmative, sir. Station area 709, say destination. Destination will be Springville, Juliet, Tango, Charlie. I made it boo-boo, I didn't have it in engine so I could see actually all my greens. The green I looked at was vacuum. That's Charlie, just have to talk to them. I have to hear their call sign. 709 or squawk 4277, I missed it initially, say out to leaving. Squawking 4277, and I'm going to be climbing up to 105709, and we're at 4700 right now. 709 radar contact two miles northwest Draven Airport. All right, let's go to that five. Let's go nav. I didn't do my go around. Oops. So let's do flight level change. I pitch down. Pick up some speed. Head up to that 30. Roll of approach and direct. Alpha Romeo. Headed back Dang. to Great Wind. We have the airport inside. 37 Alpha Romeo, Squawk VFR, change to advisor frequency approved. Squawk VFR, change. Oops, nav was capturing. Now I got that. Just throwing it into. There we go. I was trying to. 
a bit faster on that. Sink the heading. Yep, I could have taken off my flaps, didn't do that. It's too busy. Got to fly the plane first. Or contacting, but it's for 4,000. You hit there, ceiling at 4,500. It was just 500 feet above. Um, so it's pretty quick, but really no excuses. So now we're getting cleaned up, trimming for that rudder, letting the autopilot guide us right now, just so I can put my mind on making sure that the aircraft is working correctly. Um, Ignore the route from the panel because it's a panel I sent already. There, got 3,000, 4,000 engines, lean. Back it up a bit more, 1550 VFR, so we got to be the ones looking. Helping us, but. Now 21 does, 20.9. 1545 right now. Our flaps are open. All this wind does not need to be on because it's not hot yet. <laughs> and yeah, there goes Amarillo. I'm just gonna do my climb. I'm gonna pitch down a little bit more. By climbing like 102. Other handles with the rudder control. And we'll connect back for Springville. More than. All right, so we got some peak gusts up to 22 knots. If we look at our plates for the airport diagram, you will see that we have options, right? That's why I picked this place, plus fuel is cheaper. And we have a 2-3 runway, 3,000 feet, long enough for me. 2-1, um, could do 1-7. <laughs> If I wanted to, it'd be a 50 knot. Starting to look at 11. Could get a bit more squirrely, especially if they're gusting to that, right? It's different if it's just a consistent wind. You know how to crap and hold into it. It's a totally different ball game when you're getting pump, 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 thrown around with the karate chops. Kind of like we're having happen right now in here. And I'll expose for outside too, so it's a better, exciting view. It's T Gray Pickett. I'm in our Cessna 206 Turbo, flying on our return fly trip, a trip in, where I dropped off my dad at Vision Jet Cirrus training. We have 15 minutes to go. We're at 10.5. Airport is at 7,005, I think. That is not, oh my god, I showed you the wrong airport. <laughs> Let me show you the right one. That makes more sense. I was like, Okay, this is why you look at the header of your plate. There we go, there's Springerville. Totally different airport. I was like, I could have sworn one of these were 1,000 feet. So when things are off, definitely question. Always be like, hmm, what am I doing wrong? Is a great question <laughs> to ask as a pilot, because I'm sure you're doing something wrong, especially getting started. Like, volume of information that you learn and you gain as you become a captain, captain of the ship, right? this airship. So we have actually two niner and two one. So I'm going to land on two one because the wind's going to be coming straight down it. I could do two niner, but that's a 70. That's almost direct crosswind. The only other options are 11 and three, and those don't sound like great options. We have the best option. It's two one. So we're going to take two one in. It's 8,400 feet. They're at level, at elevation of 7,055, Springerville, Arizona, Julio Tango, Charlie. And we got the Unicom up, and we are, are we? I like having distant 26 nautical miles out from them, so that's good. Got our bearing heading. Fuel, we're looking at about 26 gallons. And what the gauge says, since we're gonna have fuel at destination, is gonna be 26 gallons. I've leaned it back to 26 manifold pressure. To, I don't know what percentage that is, we haven't calculated it, but 
I feel like that's closer to probably maybe 65, 60%. I'm not all the way up at 30, top of the green. And allowed me to take my fuel flow down to about 16.5. 16.5 uh, is what I need to be at. Running a little bit hot right there. So, we're just enriching the mixture a bit more. So I'm at 15, I want to be at 15.50. 16.7 should cool it down a little bit. There you go, just dropping. At 15.40 on EGTs. One of those EGTs is probably off because it's always reading really high, even though the cylinder head temperature is the lowest of all of them. So that's good. So we've been sucking off the right, but that's it's tough to say because when you are imbalanced with the rudder, the yaw, won't well, know. It's really the roll, I guess. Probably wrong on that. Someone correct me in the comments, please. You can always correct me. I, I love to learn. I gotta learn more. Uh, I pretend like I know everything in this. Got our heading synced. Ah, a reprieve. It's been a bit gnarly just even getting this camera up into its mount. Bam, bam, bam. Trying to dial the mouse. Bam, 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 bam. So we got our AWOS. We can listen again to see if the Temperature 15 Celsius. Dew point minus. Six Celsius. Altimeter. The meter is two five zero ten. Niner one inches of mercury. Niner one. Density altitude eight seven zero zero. Notice to airmen: non-standard pilot-controlled lighting. Five clicks on, seven clicks off. Thank you. Thank you, Springerville. So we got some cool mountains around here. There is the Escudilla no, over there. Airport. Mount Baldy. Automated weather observation one. Bald mount, bald Eagle. eagle. Zulu. Protect. Wind two two zero at eight knots. Peak gust one eight knots. So it's it's fluctuating, right? Between it's variable. One, eight zero and two four zero. Visibility we have a pretty big swing. We have a sixty one, degree swing zero. of wind coming from over here Clear. to here. Below one two thousand. So temperature. It's going to be a bumpy ride, in, which will be two fun. We like bumpy rides. Six Celsius. Exciting. Altimeter. So we'll check that again as we get closer because obviously the METAR is not updating fast enough on the ADSB automatic dependent surveillance broadcast that we get through the Garmin 1000 and okay, NGX and okay, there you go, NXI. Can't remember. The Onyx suite we just got upgraded to. So I see the town of Springerville. I basically have some eyeballs of where we're looking at and the town is just before it. This is good VFR work, right? Just Learn your geography. Identify, correlate, connect. Obfuscate. Big, big wash out here over to the left. Okay, cool. Is this confirm a recording up here again? Okay, good. But irritating when you're like, hi, hi, I'm, I'm recording. I'm doing all this cool stuff. No. This is kind of fun sometimes where I get this shot where you get a little more of the ground kind of coming. More outside angle, kind of like mirrors. Not sure if this does it any different. Does it? It makes the, the roof a little less boring. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Let's do that. Let's put these up. Oh boy, there's, there it is. There's that, that delicious a delicious mountain wave or something, or I'm not sure if it's going to feel it pushing us down now, ripping us up. We're 650 on our VSI. Or ver I mean, our <laughs> VSI is vertical indicator, ASI, airspeed indicator. It was VSI. And too many damn acronyms. All right, that's kind of fun. We'll, we'll, we'll play with that. So we got our view, we got our awesome jet shades. Definitely recommend getting jet shades for your aircraft. We found them at Oshkosh 2016, 18. Dad has helped Kevin really put up new prototypes, all the aircraft my dad has had. He's measured and we measure for the Premier, we measure for this one. We got a sweet prototype in the way, way back that you can't see over my shoulder because it's on that side that I helped design and craft, which is really cool. It's found the aviation community is quite small tight-knit once you really dive into it and get to know people. People are like, oh yeah, you know him? Oh yeah, you know him? That's cool. 
16 nautical miles out, and I'm just going to announce what we're doing and our intentions. Springerville traffic, station air 13709 is at 10,500. We're about 16 nautical miles to the northeast of the airport, and we'll be coming in landing 21 Springerville. Hey everybody, no. So now what we could do is I want to fly over it and we'll, we'll load the procedure for a select approach and we'll do a visual. Oh, we could do it for nav. Yeah, sure. Sure, let's load the approach. Awesome. Done a, an official approach in a, in a bit. So we'd be looking at um, if aid. Let's go to if aid then. We'll, we'll load it. We won't, um, won't do the full co course reversal. Let's come in, grab it, uh, and hook in. Fly out over there, check out some of the mountains, come back around, and then we'll shoot the approach. On the course reversal, our minimums are barometer minimums, and we're doing 7520 straight in landing. 7520 with LP. 520. This is the one thing I don't like. I don't like how it takes so damn long to get all the way up to 7-5-0. Tennessee boys putting these things, making it easy for them low elevations. All right, cool. Uh, we will load that. Got that one. I will load the route. Oh, low fuel warning. We'll go to left. All right, we might not have tons of fuel for that practice, but we got visual. I have no other real options. This is our airport to land at. What we can do is we can just slow ourselves up a bit more, and we're just going to consume a bit less. Uh, Now they're back to being even. The joy of the turbulence, right? All right, so we have if aid out there. Good. Get familiar with the the airport. I could always pull up the 3D view on. Um, there's two one. Okay, looks like we're gonna go over some ponds. Do this, so we're gonna go over some ponds. Coming into two one. That's what the airport is going to look like for two one. You have to have the upgraded, premium version of four flight to be able to do those three Ds, and you have to download a packet before you go, uh, unless you somehow you it's your local area always that you fly into. There's a power plant I saw on the map. Okay. But yeah. So it's a big town. Like, there's some homes right near the airport, and then I gotta get a ride into town. Suppose there's some good pizza, but. Way to get there. Oh, there's the road in. Cool. Yeah, so we'll just do that. Fly the approach. Just practice some instrument work. I'm not gonna hood myself because I don't have a safety pilot. Can't do that legally. Don't do that, kids. And we're gonna go from there. We'll see how long I keep this thing up because I made my head into it. I'm not gonna. All right, it says that we're balanced right now, so I'm going to keep it on left, though, because when we do get centered, it still shows left having it a little bit more. But now that we've slowed down our plane, I'm just going to start. Let's look at brief the approach first. The aircraft's trying to hold this altitude at the slower speed. I'll back off the RPM to slow us down, keep our manifold for our attempts, stay up. Yeah, but 1580 on the EGT is now showing that, so. That, I'll crack a little bit of um, cow, cow flaps. That helped improve it a bit. All right, let's straighten out. Push forward a little bit more there. Much. 
Right. I'm going to go into off autopilot so I can pitch down and control the aircraft. Alright, there's our airport. Right there. It's on the outskirts. I see it. I see the, the ponds that we saw. Right? Helpful to use all the tools at our disposal. There's a stadium dome. They have that as a visual reference for finding the town. With that, let's brief the approach. Plate. So, Greenville, we have that. The way to do is final approach fix at 8,700. So, if aid, we want to be at 9,500. So, we're going to set our first um, altitude, 9,500. And then we'll get out over there. Yep, low fuel quantity, I know. We're going to both. You're both going to provide fuel now. I have the airport in sight. That's fine with me. Springerville traffic station air 13709 is 5.3 nautical miles northeast of the airport at 10,300. We're going to be heading out for the practice RNAV 23 approach, Springerville. Oh. Nice big town and community, and probably some great hikes and mountain biking up in those hills. You got Mount Baldy, 7,400 foot feet. So what we're going to do, our LP is 7,520 airport elevation, and we'll also pull the plan and do a view uh, wide. We got that. Now let's do the menu or procedure, activate the approach. Vertical track. We're going to turn out here. Fade. Come in on that. Right. And then we're going to go down from 9,500, 8,700. We're doing about 90, should be about 510 for a descent angle. We have jet, and jet charts in here, so that helps. Circle land 7780. Kick on the zero. Sky condition clear below one two thousand. Temperature one six Celsius. Off for a hot second because I know it won't be on for a bit. Eight thousand five hundred. Chap into seven thousand nine hundred. Hello. And our missed approach is at one point nautical miles, five nautical miles from Vivki. You can see it, and then you do your approach or vertical decision point, and miss which is Mikvi. You just stay flat out there as an LP approach, so it's not an LPV approach. Uh, localizer performance. So I see the airport, we gotta go out, so I'm just gonna cook, hook out and come back around for our fade. We're climbing a lot, we got another 7,500 foot. <laughs> We can just start our descent, 9,500. Missed it again. <laughs> I'll leave it on the side. Notice to airmen, non-standard pilot controlled lighting, five clicks on, seven clicks off. Oh, okay, not do it. Down at Springer go. Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, one, six, four, eight, Zulu. Wind one niner zero at one eight knots. Peak gusts two four knots. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition clear below one two thousand. Right. Temperature so, one six Celsius. It's haven't shifted too much. Minus seven Celsius. Altimeter five hundred to go. Niner niner one We're nearing inches of mercury. If aid, density come altitude, out here. Eight eight zero zero. Notice to airmen, non-standard pilot controlled lighting, five clicks on, seven clicks off. Town of Springerville Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, one, six, four, niner, Zulu. Wind, one, niner, zero, at one, seven, knot, peak gusts, two, four, knot, visibility, Put in notch more flaps. than one, at right, 9,500. High condition, clear, below 1,2,000. Temperature, 1,6 Celsius. 
dew point, minus 7 Celsius. Altimeter, 2. Niner, niner, 1 inches of mercury. Remarks. Put that down a fair bit. I didn't zero, need to do that. Zero. Down the prop. Notice to airmen. Non-standard pilot controlled lighting. Five clicks on, seven clicks off. Right, evade. Town of Springerville Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. One six five zero Zulu. Wind two zero zero at one five knot. Peak gust two. We got it. Springerville traffic station area one three seven zero nine is turning for if aid for the RNAV two three at. 9,400. I'll look for the localizer. So we've got the localizer coming in. It's that coordinated turn. Lower than, a little further than standard rate. There we go, we caught it. Stay back up at that 9,000. There. So we're gonna we are if aid. Uh, menu activate. This one. Men activate leg. There we go. I was off on that. All right. So now we get it to send down to eight thousand seven hundred. Seven hundred. In and our wind is off to the right, so it's going to be blowing us. So we can trust, watch that magenta time in that we're going to have to be right about there ish. Hey, got to descend. Four nautical miles go, go down 300. All right. 500. 800. About 200. We having glide slope is way above us. It's coming down, so I'm just gonna stay flat here until the glide slope is with us. Go a, bit, a little bit to the left. This looks like this is slightly off um, set from the <laughs> runway. I'm on. Get in. Yeah, this is. This approach should be a climbing right turn to 12,000 direct IFAID. Not going to do that, but if I had to, and actual IMC conditions. Just pulling this up, trying to stay at our roughly 90, right? We'll have that. Light slope coming in. All the data that you can help. We'll get our lights. And power set, smooth ops, cow flaps, close, altimeter set, fuel, both, flaps as desired, pre-landing, passenger seats, upright and secure, fuel slot, both, make sure it will be rich. We're really high up, so I'm going to watch out, we're at 7,000, so I'm not going to over really rich in it. Watch out right on landing, too. Propeller, high RPM, land taxi lights, autopilot is off, V-Ref, yep, 80, 90, we're six. All right, we're above the glide slope, talking too much, not looking at all the things. We're one dot. So I'm going to pull back the power a little bit. Eight, tiny bit. Traffic, Bravo into X-ray Cessna 7 to the southeast or westbound at 500 ATO. Over. Spring, Springville, Springerville traffic 13709er is 9,200 descending for 23 on the long RNAV 23 approach. It says. Well, 24 gallons. This has been off by one gallon. I'm not. Um, but we got spent two more gallons coming out here. My ears are at 9,000. We got 200 to go. Oh, 300 to go. Look at my back. Okay, everything's looking good. Just a little more mixture, not to too much. We got our cow flaps can be closed now. How to, uh, temps. Amps back up to 1500 just to 
the bottom of the green. There we go, and we're gonna back this off. I got blown off course a good bit, so we gotta get back. Of the glide slope again, so now we're at Chapin. So we have two nautical miles to be at 7,900. So we a bit right now. So we will back up that. I can be 20 for two notches of flaps, we're gonna do that. Taxi lights on. So we have the traffic and or the airport in sight. We're coming down a little bit off on that PV now that we've caught it way high. It's two dots down. Now we're exceeding our uh, minimums. <laughs> we gotta get this down to seven nine, right? Between that, back up the power, up, slow us down a bit more, right there, to the right. Help me with that descent. Point four, I gotta drop 300. But not the sta most stable of approaches. There we go, that's at least better. I'm still high. That should be at 100 above it there. So now Chapin, what was that, 1500? Chapin 7900, now Mifki is our, our minimums. 520. All right, we're 300 above that. I'm going to straighten out and get lined up. I'm going to declare that I have the airport in sight. We're above minimums by 200. So we got that. All right. Prop full. Make sure enriching. Most of it right on the last bit. We have a bit of lift right here. So we're 600 above the airport. We have an orographic lift. We're going a little bit so we're adding a little bit of power. Right there. Coming in. Springerville traffic station here, 13709, and a short final for runway two. Minimums. Two minimums. Four. Springerville. Yep, two one. <laughs> Ain't two three, I think, both four. No one's here to correct me. All right. So we're at 91. Wait fast. That. 100 speed check for full flaps. We're gonna reach in here. Pass. Air props. Belt. Flaps. We're going a bit slow. We're at 61, 69. For right there. Especially with the gust, so we're gonna add a little more power. High. Wind socks, we got wind coming straight from our left now. Adorable. All right. Smooth light on the controls. Got tons of runway. Aiming for the captain bars. 23. And stay with that wind. Hang in and feet up on the brakes and. Oh. Ah, there we go. Power. Why do I have still have power on? Jesus, that was my fucking problem. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, with the power on. So that was my issue. Trying to hold that crosswind. Um, got crosswind controls. Back up that mixture. That power in. Okay. So what I needed to do there is not have still added power that was keeping me floating and fighting it. Um, and that trying to push right also made it hard on the rudder for me to line up and straighten out. So I was making my life way more difficult. So I just need to remember that down there, got it. I can, I can uh, turn that stuff off. So we made it, not pretty. And now the wind's coming straight down. So it was nice to hear about that variable aspect because that's definitely what I experienced. Back off on the power, so I don't have to use so many brakes, so much brakes. Don't let it die though. Not that far off the power. All right, wind is now going to be to the right. 
behind us, so we're gonna keep this in. Springerville traffic, station at 13709 is off of 21, Springerville. Beautiful location. Really pretty out here. Looks like mine had something blow away. I have to go recover it. Okay, wow. That was exciting. Transponder lights, turn all those things. Stay on the taxiway, don't go off in that ditch. It would be very upset with me. I'm behind us, we're getting pushed a, a fair bit. A few options that come in for the taxi. Go towards the one that's for this, so I loop around and then face forward into this wind. Pull down our beastie. Last chance right here. So. Eighty-seven hundred feet pressure out. City out there, I mean. Oh, wow. I'll take a photo of that. That was great. No unintended aircraft. Right. That feels about right. Okay, thank you so much. That was interesting. Definitely need to keep staying fresh on my instrument approaches. Do better on the fly path and make sure I'm holding on to that and really pushing it down and getting it down. Otherwise, it can be uh, a little funky for landing. It just makes it stressful. Well, imagine being in the clouds and trying to do that, that added stress. Uh, briefing earlier on it would be better. Very helpful. And also cutting that power on landing, just cut the power. I was fighting it and realizing I still had it in there. So something's not going right and not going the way it normally goes. There's something wrong and quickly run through the decide checklist and adjust it so that you can fix it. Thank you so much. Again, subscribe, leave comments, educate me. I really love it. The more we all learn together, the better we all are as pilots and as humans. Thank you very much. Personal wings out.